Blake, I can't believe this day is finally here. It still feels like a dream. You are everything I prayed for when I was younger and so much more. I truly don't deserve this gift from the Lord and thank Him every day for this beautiful gift of marriage. It is an honor to get to marry you. I am so excited to continue to serve together, pray together, dream, laugh, the list goes on. As we get to experience God's sacrificial and unconditional love, what a gift from the Lord that He lets us experience it within marriage. I already look forward to the times where we will be rejoicing and praising the Lord in the mountaintops and thank Him for how He has shaped us in the low seasons. Let's do this. Love, your bride. Hobbs, it is with no exaggeration that I tell you it is the greatest honor of my life to marry you. I don't know why you picked me and goodness knows it took a little while to get there, but I'm eternally grateful that God weaved our stories together as he has. Your love for him overflows into everyone else around you and it is such a gift to witness. Our families, our friends, our high schoolers, our future kids, me, we are all blessed to know Aubrey because through you we know our Savior a little better. I pray that we look back on this day for what it is, not the crazy details, not the things that go wrong, but the gift of making an eternal covenant before God, that we will love one another and uphold our vows and to a go be with Him. I love you so incredibly much. I'm so excited to become your husband. Let's do this. Love, Blake. No, hey, sweetheart. Oh no. <laughs> Beautiful. Give me a real hug. <laughs> Praise God, huh? Yeah. Blake great. is so wonderful. So happy. I stole the magic. It was gone, but now. For as much as Blake and Aubrey have covenanted together in marriage in accordance with the laws of the state, I do not pronounce them husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. I introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Blake Liggett.